Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about hair instead of makeup. I know, right? Um, but I got asked to do this tutorial whenever I filmed um, my Valentine's Day look tutorial for you all back in February. And so I am getting around to doing that for you all now and I wanted to teach you all and show you all how I did my hair and how I got that look um, step by step. So what I like to do is go ahead and shampoo with um, Paul Mitchell Platinum Blonde Shampoo and that just helps me to get a little bit more of that brassy tone out of my hair since I am a blonde. If you're a brunette, use whatever you want, but this is just what I like to go ahead and use for shampoo um, whenever I'm going to something, you know, like a special event or whatever because I feel like it makes my hair just a little bit more of that platinum um, cool tone look that I like. So I go ahead, shampoo with that, leave it on for about five minutes or so while I'm doing the rest of the stuff in the shower. And then whenever I get out, the first thing that I absolutely love to use is Purology 21 Benefits Color Fanatic Spray. Um, it has 21 benefits like shine, heat protectant, everything like that. Um, one of the main things that I said in that video to attract your mate is, you know, beautiful shiny hair. And so this is one of the things that I like to use to add that shine. Um, and then after I add that, then I will go ahead and put a little bit of texture cream. This helps my hair to get a little bit of that thickness and fullness that I like. So it gives me just a little bit of that extra texture and it helps to hold um, any type of curl that I want to do or any kind of style. And this is also Paul Mitchell. Um, it's from their Neon category and it's the Sugar Twist Texture Cream. Um, every single brand has like a texture or a platinum blonde shampoo or whatever. I just use Paul Mitchell because I have a lot of Paul Mitchell products because that's what I was trained with was Paul Mitchell. Um, so I use a little bit of that texture to give me some fullness and thickness to the hair. After that, I like to go in with my styling treatment oil. This is also Paul Mitchell. It's the Awapui. I love how it smells. Um, it just smells so great, which is one of the reasons why I like to do it. A lot of these products smell really yummy, which I like. Um, and then, but the main thing, the reason why I like this is because it, it gives you that silkiness and it makes the, it gives you shine, but it also takes away a little bit from that texture, so it kind of neutralizes the hair. So um, I go in with this last. After, and this is all when the hair is wet. After that, I will blow dry it. And what I like to do, I like to blow dry with like a bristle brush, like a boar bristle brush. This is from the Marula Oil line. This is also a Paul Mitchell brush, but any kind of um, bristle brush that you have. And what I like to do is make all of my hair go completely back. I don't give it any specific part. And then my hair is dry and it is now ready to be curled. Um, with that being said, I then go in with my um, one inch curling iron. And this is actually by Revlon. So you can get this at probably like Walmart or wherever. I've had this thing for years. Um, so this is just what I use on myself. So I'm going to go ahead and section out my hair. I usually don't section whenever I curl. Even whenever I curl my clients, I don't like to section it out this hardcore. I usually just go with where their part is. But um, for this look, I really like to go ahead and section it out. Um, okay, so I will grab about an inch section. The hair is already primed and it already has that heat protected in it from the Purology spray so I really don't need to add any extra heat like um, heat protectant product to it and I will just leave it as is now the main thing of what I like to do is curl everything under so you all are going to see me do each section and I'm going to take small sections as you can see this section was too big and I'm going to crawl everything under try not to touch the hair once you've crawled it
Wouldn't that be so funny if my hair burnt off like it did with that one girl in that one video? Oh my god. We watched that when I was at school once and we just had so much to laugh about with that. She's like giving us that tutorial on how to do the, her hair. <laughs> so funny. Now with this, um, I kind of like to over direct it a little bit, which means to just bring it up a little bit higher from where it actually falls. That's like the easiest way I can describe over direction. And um, so as you can see, this is probably like half base. And then let it drop and that just gives it that fullness right at the root. And I'm still trying to not touch that hair that's already been curled. Okay. Now, this is where it goes a little bit different. So, what I like to do, this is basically your mohawk panel. Okay, that's what we like to call it, um, which is basically all this top layer or top top segment. So, what I like to do is start from the back. And I'll get just, it's just a messy, messy section. Um, I like to start from the back and I'll take my rat tail, um, my rat tail comb and that's this right here. I like to take this because I'm going to use this to tease a little bit later. The teeth are just super tight together. And that's what helps you give good um, a good tease. But what you're gonna do here is actually bring this. I hope you guys can see. You're gonna tuck it all under, making it all go back. I hope that makes sense. Um, but that we're gonna do that each step with this mohawk panel. We're gonna make it all go back and that's what's going to give you that full volume look and really it's going to give you no specific part which is what I really like I feel like it creates a lot of natural volume by the way this is so hard to do on camera <laughs> like without a real mirror in front of me So 
sometimes if like it's too much I'll actually take that out and I'll do it one at a time as long as it's going straight back it's not gonna be a, a huge deal you're still gonna get that no part look And the last step I like to do for that extra lift, if you have like bangs or whatever, I'll actually take these, just those little tiny front pieces, and just get them combined instead of making them one and one. Combine those two and just do a real quick last curl. And then I'll flip, ooh, let me get this piece. Now, my favorite part, flip over. After I flip, I like to do a little tease in the back or back combing, whichever one you prefer, just call it. Same thing. I brush it forward and I just kind of back comb it about 10 times and then to give me that extra lift use my favorite hairspray or the hairspray that you have at the time and I kind of just like to do a little scrunch I love to do this. I love hairspray. Y'all know I'm a southern girl. The bigger the better, honey. Hide the hair closer to Jesus, baby. And you got that big voluptuous. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Super quick, super easy. Some of my favorite products. Um, that I love that you all were able to see so um, leave me some comments down below let me know what you guys think and hopefully I will be doing a video for you guys sometime soon all right love you guys bye <laughs>